respect their time. Hi, this is John Ruman. I'm an international business coach and consultant. I work at the real 007 Roger Moore of Sales Training Academy, showing you how you can respect other people's time. Check out this live. So here's the challenge. Many people, when they make their calls, and calls are powerful, because if you don't make calls, you don't have meetings, you don't have meetings, you don't have closes, you don't have closes, you don't get paid. So, and think about how many people, so an inexperienced salesperson will walk the streets to meet people. And not that that's always bad, because in some businesses and styles, it's helpful. And also, it mixes it up a bit. But I would encourage, rather than doing that, have a meeting set at a location, and then before and or after, spend a half hour on the other side walking. Because I'm in Trinidad, and Trinidad has the blessing of the most beautiful, most beautiful. Hey, good evening. It has the most beautiful possible traffic on the planet. So you're going to waste time getting there. You might as well make money talking to the neighboring businesses. Here's the challenge, is when people make the call, especially a first contact, they don't know who you are, they're not expecting the call or anything. Most people just, first of all, they don't have a script. You must have a script. The script must be practiced. It must be concise. It must build immediate credibility. It must have an opening statement that states your intent. But before you get to that, I'll give you an example. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is John Roman with JGR Global. We're an international business coaching and consulting firm located out of the U.S. And you got a minute? I probably would, would say got a minute sooner, right? But the point is, good afternoon. I am XYZ with XYZ. Who you are, your name, credibility. And then, got a minute? Do you have a minute? Something like that. The reason why this small statement is so important, it does two things. One, they may be literally, let me let me grab my phone. They may literally, hey, good to see you, Paulia. Be like, hello, yeah, like they're literally in a meeting, okay? So it may be like that. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, hello. Okay, so it's very quick. It could be like that. Or um, just something's up, right? They're in the middle of something. They don't know the number. You never know if it's important. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, how are you, sir? They listen to you. Now's not a good time. Could you call me maybe tomorrow on 9 a.m.? Yeah, 10, 10 better? Okay, I can talk at 10. Thanks so much. Yeah, have a great day. Bye. Something like that. What it does, it does a few things. One, it shows you respect their time. It shows that you understand that they may be in the middle of something and do not assume they were waiting for that phone to ring. And if you're watching this in the U.S., many people won't even answer their phone unless they got a text or some sort of message first. Crazy, huh? So, but if you call a couple times, they'll usually answer because obviously it's important. But also, where in Trinidad, there's a lot of do not call us. Sorry, in the U.S., there's a lot of do not call us. Trinidad, those just don't exist so much. So, it's kind of free reign. Anyway, long story short, make sure you respect their time. The sooner you show them respect, everything has a reciprocity to it. In other words, you give, someone will want to give back to you. So if in every engagement you are showing a deep level of respect for the other person, with obviously holding a level of competence within yourself, so you're not like strong but weak, if you know what I mean. So you got to be confident and powerful in your own, but showing respect. So humbly showing respect, but not bowing down, if, if that makes sense. So it's a mutual respect that you can appreciate them for who they are, etc. But what this does is it sets a precedent so that all future interactions with you, you have subconsciously created more respect for you in that interaction. And who wants to be disrespectful anyway? So make a call. Good afternoon. If you're in the United States, you may not say that, but you say... Um, Hi, this is this person with this company. Brief credibility statement. You got a moment. That's it. 
Okay, so that's why you respect the person's time. So let me tell you real quick. Hey, good evening, honors training. Oh, thank you. Good advice for sure. Appreciate it. Um, take a moment to do this anytime you make a call. Okay, real quick, let me tell you about the Cold Calling Masterclass. It starts in nine days, 18 hours. If you're watching this on Facebook, you actually see the countdown there in the bottom of the class, of the text there. So that is in St. Augustine, in the Remax Real Estate Group office. Uh, Mr. Roger Moore works out of there. And that starts from two to five. It'll be covering a couple things that are beneficial that we go over. It is role play. So we are going to create this script. So part of the script will be what we just talked about. Good morning, you know, the greeting, if you will. Some sort of a next statement, the next five to eight seconds. My name is John Ruman with JGR Global. We're an international business and consulting firm located out of the U.S. Something like that. Got a minute. So again, all these are factors within the actual call script. So we'll have, help you create the call script that works best for you to give you the most impact for those you work with. And then we'll also, once we do the script, we'll create tonality around it. And tonality allows you to have a slightly different way of speaking that has more an impact. I'll give an example. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So straight. Good morning. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Not a lot of difference between the first and the third, but the point is you heard the difference in intonation in the voice. And what happens when you use proper intonation, people within their minds naturally are drawn to what you are saying. This is what's used in, in radio ads specifically, and it's used to keep those who usually use ads as, oh, oh, oh I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to have some water now. Distract myself from the ad. Instead, they're like, this is a great ad. And they sit and they listen and they're captive. So leverage that to your ability. So, so that's something in the class as well. The total investment is 600 TT. And again, you can pay half up front or, or in half when you are reach. Um, the... For that class, this is the most popular module of our six-part series, uh, which is called S uh, Sales Training Mastery, and or six weeks uh, to sales mastery, excuse me. And what you do is you take, we will take 400 of the 600 you've put today towards that so you can basically view it as a credit. So it allows you to test us out, so is John as crazy and fun in real life as he is <laughs> on here, which I'm obviously crazy and having a great time. So thank you. I appreciate you. Whether you're watching me on beautiful Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are seeing this today or tomorrow, whenever, shoot me a message. Let me know what questions you have and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I would also love you to share this with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, share subscribe and if you're on facebook share with your friends like my page so you can get more of these things youtube may be the better way to actually see the videos directly and thank you for your time so i look forward to seeing you guys next week it's on a sunday by the way it's the 15th of july on a sunday not a saturday sunday um, let's see if i have it here uh, i do so here is the graphic for it that'll help you guys out but Come check it out. I would love to see you and it will make you create more sales because at the end of the day, you need to make sure that people are hearing you, hearing you succinctly and clearly so the message gets across. So thanks so much. Have an amazing night and I appreciate your time.